Hello mga kawamat. In this video lesson, we will discuss trade discounts. So first, let us define what is trade discounts. It is a reduction from list price granted to buyers. So single discount, it is a discount that is given to a customer, usually a wholesaler, when the customer buys a product. So uh, usually nangyayari ito kapag bultuhan yung pagbili natin o maramihan especially like for example in Divisoria so kung may business ka kapag mamili ka sa Divisoria mas malaki yung madidiscount mo kapag uh, maramihan okay maramihan yung uh, bibilhin mo hindi yung paisa-isa and then may tinatawag din tayong series of discount it is a discount that you offer based on the number of different conditions so merong iba't ibang discount like for example uh, kapag nag-sale yung mga online shop, you know, yung like Shopee and Lazada, so meron silang mga percentage na binibigay, so depende no, sa kanila. And then of course, kapag nag-sale sa mall, okay, so may mga discount din, so depende kung 10%, 20%, and then meron din discount like for example sa transportation. So kapag estudyante ka and then Senior citizen, of course, discounted ka. And ngayon, okay, may mga establishment na merong ding nag-offer ng discount if you are fully vaccinated. So may mga establishment, like for example, magpo-purchase ka ng product nila, bibigyan ka nila ng certain discount or kapag kumain ka, no? Saka, so of course, may mga kainan na madi-discount ka if you are fully vaccinated. So, single discount, so how to uh, compute the discount price that is list price or the selling price times the discount rate. And then, uh, net invoice price, so that is, ano yung ibig sabihin ng net invoice price? This is the new amount of the item after deducting the discount from the selling price or the list price. So, to compute list price minus the discount. Okay, let us apply in this problem. Compute the discount for an item with a list price or a selling price of 1,250 pesos subject to a 15% discount. So, what is the net invoice price? So, ang hinahanap natin dito, magkano na lang daw yung amount ng item na yun kapag na less yung 1,250 pesos ng 15% discount. So first, what are the given? So the list price or the selling price is 1,250 pesos. And then the discount rate is 15%. So before we, uh, before we find the net invoice price, we need to solve first the amount of the discount. So, 15%, if you convert in decimal, that is 0 0.15. So, again, before we uh, compute the net invoice price, so we need to solve first the uh, amount of the discount. So, by using, this, uh, by using the list price and the discount rate, so using the formula, list price times the discount rate, substitute, the list price is 1,250 times 0 0.15, so, using your calculator, that is 187.50 pesos. So, this is the discount amount. No? Of, uh, from 1,250 pesos, so mababawasan ng 187.50. Ngayon, ang tanong, so, nang nabawas yung 187.50, magkano na lang yung amount ng item? So, yun yung hinahanap natin, yung net invoice price. So, using the formula, the list price minus the discount amount, which is 187.50 pesos. So, we substitute 1,250 pesos minus 187.50. So, the answer or the net invoice price is 1,062.50 pesos. So, ibig sabihin, from 1,250, naging 1,062.50 na lang of uh, a 15% discount, okay? So, there's 
another formula or we can solve this in another way. So, paano? So, using the given, so using the discount rate, so makukumpute natin by using the net invoice price rate. So, paano ba kukunin yung net invoice price rate? So, by using this formula, 100% minus the discount rate. So, again, makukumpute natin yung kaninang problem. So, same problem lang ito sa ganitong paraan din. So, using the net invoice price rate, using the formula, 100% minus the discount rate. So, 100% minus 15% and 100 minus 15, that is 85%. So, using the net invoice price rate, and that is 85%, we compute the net invoice price. Paano? So, using this formula. So, the list price times the net invoice price rate. So, substitute 1,250 times 0 0.85. So, we convert 85% into decimal. And that is 1,062.50. Same lang doon sa uh, nauna nating sagot. Okay, so mayroon kayong dalawang paraan to compute the net invoice price. So another problem, a living room set worth 5,300 pesos was granted a discount of 636 pesos. So find A, discount rate, B, net invoice price, and C, net invoice price rate. So tatlo yung hahanapin natin. First, the discount rate. Next is the net invoice price and the net invoice price rate. So what are the given and the problem? The list price or the selling price is 5,300 pesos. And the discount. So by this time class, the amount or the discount amount is given. So hindi binigay yung discount rate kasi ito yung hinahanap natin. So in this problem, ang binigay naman is yung discount amount hindi yung discount rate. So, before we compute the net invoice price and the net invoice price rate, so ito muna unahin natin, the discount rate. So, using the formula, so by using the discount, uh, using the formula for getting the discount amount, so ito rin ang gagamitin natin. So, isa substitute lang natin. So, the discount is 636. So, dito natin ilagay is equal to the list price is 5,300 times the discount rate. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. So, in algebra, di ba kapag nagmumultiply tayo sa algebra, so pagsasamahin lang natin yan, so that is 5,300 times DR or the discount rate. So, that is 5,300. Since ito yung hinahanap natin, we divide both sides of the equation by 5,300. So, kapag dinivide natin, maka-cancel natin yung 5,300. So, 600 divide 5,300, the answer is 0 0.12. And then, we convert 0 0.12 into percent, that is 12%. So, the discount rate is 12%. Next, natin kukunin yung net invoice price. So, using the formula, the list price minus the discount. So, yung list price natin is 5,300 and the discount amount is 636 pesos. So, isa substitute lang natin, 5,300 minus 636, the answer is 4,664 pesos. So, ibig sabihin from 5,300 since... Uh, naka-discount no, na 636, yung ang babayaran na lang sa uh, amount ng living room set is 4,664. Ngayon, kukunin natin, may isa pa tayong hanapin, yung net invoice price rate. So, paano natin hanapin? Using the formula kanina, so, the discount rate minus natin dun sa 100%, so, 100% minus the discount rate, that is 12%. So, 100 minus 12, the answer is 88%. So, ibig sabihin, the net invoice price rate is 88%. So, another is the series of discount. So, same lang din yung formula na gagamitin. Kapag kukunin yung discount, list price times the discount rate. And then, kapag kukunin natin yung net invoice price, 
list price minus the discount amount. So let us uh, solve this problem. Compute for the discount and the net invoice price. If an item listed at 1,250 pesos is given a 10% and 5% discount. So dalawa yung madi discount. 10% and 5%. So itong mga ganito, yung mga maraming na discount nangyayari ito halimbawa for uh, dito sa Manila, no? Uh, meron tayong uh, sinisellebrate, like for example, araw ng Manila. Kapag nag-sale sa mall, so magsisale sila ng 20%. And then, madidiscount ka uh, ng another 10% kapag residence ka ng Manila. So, nangyayari yun kapag araw ng Maynila. So, ilan na lahat yung discounted rate mo? 30%, no? Kasi may additional na 10%. So, what are the given? The list price is 1,250 pesos. And the discount rate is 10% and 5%. Since meron tayong dalawang discount rate, we're going to compute, okay, the discount amount for 10%. And the discount amount for 5%. So, let us uh, convert 10% and 5% into decimal. So, 10% is 0 0.10 and 5% is 0 0.05. So, we're going to find the net invoice price. So, magkano kaya yung mababawas, no? Or magkano na lang yung amount after ma-discount ng 10% and 5%. So, first, compute natin yung discount amount sa 10%. So, list price, that is 1,250 times 0 0.10. So, the answer is 125 pesos. So, in 10% discount, so, mababawasan yung 1,250 ng 125. And then, meron pa tayong 5%. Okay? So, meron pang 5%. So, kung kukunin natin, that will become 1,125 na lang. Okay? di ba? Kung ibabawas na natin sa 1,250, yung discount amount sa 10% na 125, ang maiwan na lang ay 1,125. At mula dito sa 1,125, pwede rin na uh, itong gamitin natin para makompute natin yung 5%. So, that is 1,125 times 0 0.05. So, using your calculator, that is 56.25. So, ito yung discount amount. Mula dito sa new amount na 1,125, which is madidiscount pa ng 5%. So, mababawasan pa yung 1,125 ng 56.25 pesos. Or, so, what is the total discount no 125 plus 56.25 that is 181.25 pesos so itong amount na to ito yung um, uh, buong amount na mababawas din sa 1250 so kung kukunin natin yung net invoice price so that is 1250 minus 181.25 the net invoice price is 1068. 75. Okay, so what if kapag itong given o itong way natin isosolve, no? So, makukuha rin natin yung discount amount by using this formula. So, mula sa 100%, ito yung discount rate ng 10%. Okay? So, ilan yung matira? 90%. So, para makuha natin yung discount amount so mula dito sa 10% so 1250 times 10% so that is or no since kukunin pa rin natin yung difference nila yung 10% from 100% that is 90% so kung kukunin natin yung discount sa ganitong paraan so 1250 times 0.90 that is 1125 so again ito ay another way para makompute natin itong problem na to. And then sa 5% naman, so gamit ito, so 100% minus 5%, that is 95%. Since ito na yung bagong amount, okay, so ito na yung bagong amount, ito yung gagamitin natin. Hindi na yung 1,250. So 1,125 
times 0 0.95. So, the answer is 1,068.75. So, pareho lang sila. So, again, meron kayong dalawang paraan para makompute yung net invoice price ng problem na to. Okay, special mention to Ms. GNR Condes. Thank you uh, for giving your PowerPoint presentation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.